So let me walk you through, okay, John, I, you got my attention. What do I do with this? First, remember I told you at the beginning of our conversation, there's a decision you need to make about the future of your career and the future of your company. This is that decision. You need to make developing talent a business priority. Whether you call me or somebody else, doesn't matter. You need to make developing leaders a business priority, perhaps above everything else. You'd have a hard time arguing with me about what other line item in your budget is more important than developing your leadership talent. Number two, develop a master plan. I coach no companies unless they have a plan. So the very first thing we do is develop a plan for what are we gonna do with your business in the next three to five years. Tell me the kind of lifestyle you wanna have, because almost all of the clients we work with are either family-owned businesses or entrepreneurs. Tell me the kind of lifestyle you wanna have in five years, and I'll help you build a business that'll give it to you. And I've showed you the model that I used to do that. Number three. Create a steering committee. Create some sort of a small group of really positive people. This all, now, I'm showing you what to do. I don't have time in 45 minutes to say, and here's how you do it. But you need to have a committee of people. Who's the president of a company in here? Somebody raise their hand. CEO. Yes, sir. What's your first name? Blair. I'm sorry? Blair. Blair. So my experience would say, Blair, I don't want you to lead the culture change in your committee. You play an important role but I want to get a small group of people to lead that charge. I want to create a SWAT team. I want to create a team of people that when they speak, and it could be a nurse on the floor on the afternoon shift, when these seven or eight people speak, people listen, because they have respect in the organization and they always contribute at a high level. And they bring a great attitude to work every day. Some of you might have a hard time finding eight of those. You need to do an assessment of your management team. If we're gonna develop your leadership team, we need to know, do you have the right leaders to be developed? And in most, answer, most companies, the answer is usually, we have some work to do. So if this were an assessment that we might use, and you create some acceptable ranges, the blue is, here's what this job needs to be a top performer, and we assess people that are in the job against it, and then we plot the scores, Seven, if the range is five to eight, that's a great score. This person overall scored a 94% match. Not 93, not 95, a 94% match to the perfect candidate for that job. Imagine if your entire management team had the right person with the right skills and experience in the job. Should you be measuring your culture? Absolutely. If I could ask your employees, what is it like to work in your company, Blair? It'd be valuable to know. Here's a report. Blair, I'm picking on you because now I know your name. Imagine this is Blair's report. Here it is. We've asked all his employees, and here's what they said. Now, would that be useful data for Blair to have when he thinks about there's a, a recruiting and retention crisis in Michigan? Would that be valuable for him, his information, yes or no? Of course it would. Now, what do you do with the results? Well, that's a whole other chapter to talk about. But wouldn't that be valuable to know? All of my great clients do this. And it's not very expensive. We create a cadence of meetings. It starts with a planning session. We begin to create the priorities of the business right down to and including sharing with every employee. And then in some companies, we've added the huddle on the back end of the business. How many of you know what a huddle is? Anybody in the room? Some hands, good, good. Do you do it in your companies? Is it good, is it valuable? It's very valuable. Now you might say, well John, I got people all over the country and Jeff's put, Jeffrey's putting people on jets and moving people around and doing things. How can we do a huddle? Well, if we can do it at Oakwood Healthcare and deliver babies and run the ERs, not skip a beat, and do surgeries, and run the hospitals, plural, and all the satellite locations, if we can do it there, trust me, we can figure out how to do it in Blair's company. 
one of the greatest retention strategies there is when you learn to do it properly. It takes eight minutes at the beginning of every shift. Now, if you're, if you're Blair and you're looking at all these dates, John, you really expect me to do this? John, I got a business to run. When you add all that up, that's about 5% of Blair's time. Blair and his executive team, his management team, his key leaders. I could change the financial performance of his business if their key leaders would follow that rhythm of meetings. Because communication soars. Accountability soars. People owning what are they responsible for soars. Somebody at today's huddle mentions that my daughter had a baby yesterday. And we didn't know that. I saw at one huddle, one lady loves to farm. She brought in a basket of tomatoes for everybody in her huddle. And it was her turn to share something positive. She gave everybody a basket of tomatoes. And you conduct the entire meeting standing up in eight minutes. Most of you are not capable of running an eight minute meeting. You're not. But we can teach you how. <clears throat> Here's what an agenda might look like. Each person around the table standing up. You don't sit down. What's one priority you have for the day? What's one metric, one metric that you're working on today? What's one, one problem or issue? You go around the room. You just keep going around the circle and end with something positive. Sometimes everybody has one. Sometimes just one person has one. Might be we landed a new big contract yesterday. <clears throat> Most companies I go in, this is being filmed, so I have to be careful. <clears throat> Most companies I go into do not have a good accountability system. And in fact, most of them, it's a joke. It's an HR task where once a year I gotta fill out some forms. But I'm, what a great tool to have. Sir, what was your name again that's getting the free book? Sean. Sean. At the beginning of the year, Sean, how many people in your company approximately, full-time, part-time? Uh, about 80. 80. Wouldn't it be cool if all 80 employees after the company has set the business priorities for the year, that all 80 employees, one at a time, get to know what's expected of them. At the end of the year, I'm, so this happens in January, February, at the end of the year, they have a year in review, and for 11 months in between, they get periodic coaching and feedback from a manager who's really well trained. Do you think that would help your retention for every employee to know what's expected of them, to get, to get a good, fair, honest review at the end of the year, and get great feedback throughout the year. <clears throat> These are just examples of tools that we use to give, people, give leaders feedback on their performance. 360 works sometimes, the employee engagement survey that I just held up the report, that's a form of feedback. In some organizations, we create a scorecard based on some important key performance indicators for managers. Here's a slide I want you to remember. I'm going to slow down for a second, only for a second. Your nine talent management systems can reinvent your company. So I want you to think about the word process and system. How does your company currently do recruiting? What's your recruiting system? What is your hiring and selection system? What is your onboarding system? How do you train and develop people once you have them? What is your accountability system? All of these will help you attract and retain great talent. But you can't do one or two of them. It's a formula. How well do you develop leaders? How do you promote people in your organization? When my wife left work on a Friday a few years ago as a nurse, came in on Monday, and she was a nurse manager. Karen, is that a true story, yes or no? That's not a very good promoting talent system. She used to go to lunch with these people, now she's their manager. That's how most companies do it. Trust me, that is not a best-in-class process how you compensate people, and how you measure your culture. I could work in your company for a year just on these nine talent management systems. This can reinvent your company. Some of you will create some sort of corporate university model. Jeffrey is really working hard at that right now and has been for a few years. But even at breakfast this morning, he's talking about how we improve it. Uh, here's a book you need to read. So, Jeffrey, I'm going as fast as I can. Jim Collins wrote Good to Great. This was a study of Fortune 500 companies. This guy wrote a book, Keith McFarlane, and he went out and did research on companies your size. 
What were the great ones doing? He studied the 5,000 fastest growing companies in America and wrote a book about what are they doing, but they were all small to medium sized companies. One of the findings in the book is people like you used outside experts better than their competition and outperformed them in profit by three to one over a 10 year period. Is profit an important word, yes or no? <laughs> Absolutely. You ought to read this book, The Breakthrough Company by Keith McFarland. Go ahead and read it, even though the colors look like Ohio State. Here's the accountability system. If you ask Jack Welch, if you study his stock prices over a 20 year period of him being CEO, he said, if I can only measure three things, one of them is profit, one of them is employee engagement, employee satisfaction. This is the process that I use to coach all my clients around how to put a better accountability system in your organization. Live the values, deliver the results, and that development should not be optional in your company. That's a really simplified version of the accountability system we use. Thank you.